What's going on everybody? I'm back with another customization video and today we are doing something I haven't done I have done before but I haven't done it on camera so today I am going to be customizing a pair of OI Air Force Ones never worn brand new and the colors we are going to be using are rose gold and vachetta paint so some materials you are going to need are some acetone, cotton ball, paint brushes, tape, heat gun, or helping with the paint, we got Dollar. This is Angela's Dollar to help dole down the paint so there's not a lot of shine. And then we have a matte finisher for when we are done. So, without any further ado, let's get into this custom. All right guys, so first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get your shoe is always take off the laces. Once you get your laces off, next thing you're gonna do is you wanna take your acetone and your cotton balls and you just wanna take off the factory finish. You don't wanna push hard on it and you don't wanna push too soft on it. So, so then your paint can stick on to the shoe. Alright guys, so once the acetone is dried off, then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the Nike sign first with the rose gold leather paint. So what we need to do is we need to take our tape and then tape around the Nike swoosh so we don't get anything else on the outside. Got the whole Nike sign all taped up, good to go. So now we're going to take our rose gold and our paint brushes and start painting it. Now we want to use at least six to seven layers of paint. So we're going to do that. So once you are done with the Nike swoosh, we are going to move on to the back and this little thing right here. And for this custom, I'm not going to be doing the other Nike sign, but if you please, you can do whatever you want. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint the back tab and this little tab right here, rose gold. So we gotta tape this up and the sock liner, so. And it's not even in focus. There we go. So that's what we're gonna do right now.
right guys, so I finished the Nike sign and the back. It looks really nice, I really like the rose gold. And so, again, I'm not gonna be doing this side, but if you want to, you can. And uh, now we gotta take the paint off, or the tape off, not the paint. Guys, here we have it so far. We have the rose gold Nike swoosh and the back. And so now, I think I'm gonna wait until I go back home to finish this because I have to pack up and get ready to go to downtown Seattle. So, I will see you guys back at home where we will finish this up. All right guys, now I'm back home, ready to finish up this custom. And so next thing, you're actually going to need one of these uh, the paint cups to mix your Vachetta tan and the Dollar. So for this we're going to fill up the cup up to this little tab thing right here. Just going to fill it up to that and then we're going to add a couple drops of Dollar in there. Take it first. All right guys, you see it's up to the rim, right there. And then, so now what we're gonna do, okay, we wanna take our dollar and then just add three to four drops of dollar into this and then we will shake it up and yeah, so make sure you shake up the dollar real good. Alright, so the next part we are going to do is we are going to start with the front toe box that front part right there and just paint it with this mixture. Guys, so we're gonna take our Pachetta paint and paint that toe box right there. So as you can see, I have finished the toe box and yes there I've um, I didn't stay in it because Everything else is going to be the Vachetta colorway So I'm not worried about these little mistakes right here because Everything else except for the tongue is going to be that Vachetta colorway So next thing we're going to do is we are going to work on the uh, the eyelets and for this part, unless you're really careful, you might want to tape up the whole tongue. But for this one, I'm just going to be taping up the bottom of it so I don't get any paint onto that. This, this, this is a homage beat. Alright guys, 
so we have finished the eyelets part just all of it in that matte machetta so now all we need to do really is tape up the uh, outsole or midsole whichever one you want to call it just tape up all around and then everything else is going to be the Vachetta tan so all we need to do is tape this up and then tape around or paint around everything so that's what we gotta do so far so good you got that matte look thankfully for that dollar that dollar is super helpful I really recommend getting that if you're going to I don't know, just for any paint, I really recommend the fish, uh, the dollar. As always, just go to AndroidsDirect.com and you will find it all there. So. guys so honestly I need to work on my steady hand so I'm actually going to be taking this tape off and practicing trying to stay on the, the actual part that I want to paint so if I mess up it's easy to fix um, so I'm gonna take the paint the tape off and uh, work on my steady hand but if you don't have a very steady hand and you feel like you need to use tape then go ahead it's super easy just make sure you, you cover everything and don't go over everything so I'm gonna take the paint off and then we will get painting on the rest of the shoe This is a homage beat. guys I am about halfway through the shoe I completed the inside of the shoe there's what it looks like and now I gotta finish this side which is that's gonna be colored in with the tan and also that so I'm almost done so let's finish this up
All right, guys, we are finally on to our last part. I just need to color in that part, and then we are done. So this is what we have so far. It's nice matte. It's really nice Vachetta tan with the rose gold. Almost done. And so let's finish this up. So this is a final product of the Vachetta Rose Gold Pan Custom that I made. Super nice, the Dollar really helps again. I recommend Dollar for any paint that you are using or you want matte, a matte finish to it. So there's like rarely any shine. And so this is what we got guys. Now, I did get something a little bit extra from Angelus.com and they are the leather laces, the tan leather laces. So, got the gold tips on them too. These are really soft and feel really nice. I recommend getting these for a sneaker that you really like or you're really proud of. Um, so, I'm gonna put these on right now. guys i want to thank you guys for watching my customization video and if you want to see more hit that like button and go down and subscribe to my channel and once i have a new goal we reached 100 subscribers so my new goal is 500 subscribers by the end of 2018 now if we can reach that goal before 2018 i will be doing a giveaway so if you want a giveaway subscribe when you reach 500 by the end of 2018. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later.